All right, so everybody wants to see how we um, do wire harnessing. I'm going to use a traditional method um, in SolidWorks, which is just a 3D curve. And um, we're going to bring cables out of here into these boxes here, these four boxes. And then we've got um, four wires that are going to go uh, down into the uh, pole assembly. So we're going to chase them uh, down through there. And um, we we'll try to do it in less than an hour. So anyhow, the first thing you want to do is to bring in a... Um, a new assembly. So you're going to go component, insert new assembly right there. And um, I actually already brought it in. No, nope, because I didn't. So we're going to go insert, component, new assembly. And it lands right down at the bottom here. And then we're going to right click and we're going to open that assembly. And here we're going to go insert, component. And we're going to add, there are uh, 12 wires going up into the top of the antenna and then there's four going down into the pole. So we're going to have a total of 16 wires. So we're going to add new parts into this assembly and then we're just going to keep adding. We're going to go insert, component, oops, um, accept that. We go insert, component, new part. We're going to go insert, component, oops, insert, component, new part, insert, component, well, anyhow, let me get 12 of these in here, and then I'll start, uh, I'll start showing you how all this stuff works. So. Okay, so I've uh, gone in and I've uh, inserted new components, as I was shown before, new part, and then it comes in to this new assembly, and I've renamed everybody Wire 1, Wire 2, 3, 4, all the way up to 16. Actually, 16 needs to get renamed, renamed it's a part, but if you right-click on it, you double-click on it, whoops, right-click, Right, Oops, something like that, just freaking out here. Um, wire 16, and that's how I rename them. Then I save the whole assembly, I save everybody, and we can call this, um, we'll save as, we'll call this um, wire harness assembly. Let's capitalize it. Um, so anyhow, that's saved. So now we've got a new name. It's called Wire Harness Assembly. It's in the main assembly, and we've got all 16 wires here ready to go. So we're gonna um, save this, and then we're gonna um, shrink this down, and we're gonna go into the main assembly here, and we're gonna come down, and we're going to take this wire harness assembly over here on the left, and we're going to right click. We're going to go insert, or excuse me, we're going to go edit part, and whoops, it's not fixed, so let's hold on here. we got to, let's edit assembly, let's bolt this thing down. So I'm going to hit my origin on that and the origin on the assembly. The origin really doesn't matter a whole lot. Whoops, why are all my tools not here? Huh, for some reason all my tools are here. Let me just get this corrected and I'll be right back. Okay, so then we want to just take the wire harness assembly, grab the origin, Go back up here, hit this origin, right click, go mate, and now everybody's mated. We'll lock it so it doesn't move around, and we complete that. So now we've got our wire harness assembly kind of locked in there from uh, coordinate systems, the origins. So then we're going to come down here, and we're going to right click on this wire one. We're going to say edit part, and um, let's just take, and we will... Um, we will take the, um, we'll go insert, surface, offset, and let's just go in and we'll um, figure out where this one goes. So we're going to click there, and that's the surface, and we'll just see the zero offset on that. We hit return, and so now that's in that um, wire, so I'm editing that wire, and then I can um, right click and I say, um, we're going to insert again. So we came from this one right here, and we want to uh, go all the way over to, let's just go over here to this one. So I'm going to go insert, surface, and I say offset. And then I go down here, and let's just zoom in right here. And we're going to offset this cylindrical surface. So we're looking for cylinders to create some access through. 
Okay, so now we've got two surfaces that are offsetted. I'm still editing the part, the wire, wire number one over here on the left. So I'm going to right click out here. I'm going to go edit assembly. And now I'm back into moving around in the assembly. So I hit save and, and we created that one part right there that the sur those surfaces off of there. So I'm going to go and I'm going to then um, open up wire number one. Actually, we can wipe, open up the whole wire harness. So we're going to open that up. We right click on it and we go out and we say regenerate. All right, and so here's wire harness number one, and we're still working here. So I'm going to right click on wire harness wire one. I'm going to open it up, and it's got these two cylinders here. So I'm going to zoom in, and I'm going to go. Okay, so here's a uh, interesting situation. So I, I ran a second wire here, and um, it's colliding in with this wire. So we're we're laid in there. I did the same move, um, grabbed the surfaces, picked them off, went in, and I edited it. So now what we want to do is we want to go into wire number two. And we're going to right click. And we're going to say Edit Part, and we're going to switch to the bottom view, and um, then we can see where it's kind of colliding in a 2D format. So what we want to do is we want to zoom in on this thing. It looks like right in here is where it's colliding. And we can right click on this sketch here and we can just take and kind of tug our uh, points around here in the master assembly to get it out of the way. So this is